So the toughest problem you face during your five years at the IMO is P5. This guy won five medals at the IMO, two of which are gold, making him the best in the history of his country, Malaysia. Today, he will show us how the mind of a top problem solver works. Within the process, what's more, what's most important to be good in math Olympiad? I feel like it is to analyze the problem in a very um, deep sense in some way. So I believe this is not a very new idea, but you're trying to seek patterns between different kind of problems because every problem is unique. So if you remember the problem statement, remember the solution corresponding to it, you will get nowhere because that problem will not repeat in any way. So what we want is to actually analyze the problem, look deep into it, and see what are the ideas, the kind of universal ideas that's present in it. So take a very simple example. Let's say that we have a problem about um, something involving two power n. So people, people who know um, who did a lot of math Olympiad would recognize that there is a very high probability, not certainty, but a very high probability that is involving some kind of induction that goes from like 2 to 4 to 8 to 16 and so on. So those are some intuitions or some patterns you want to see within the math Olympiad problems and to allow you to solve um, a brand new problem when you see it. Are you saying that we need to have kind of uh, triggers that when you see this you should think of this mm -hmm. I would certainly agree on that viewpoint so it's like you want to seek for cues sometimes it's very direct so for example the 2 power n is the most direct one you see a 2 power n a concrete one and then you say induction but some of the times you look at the problem in general you have a vague sense that this is gonna be pigeonhole principle for example and those are stuff that's a little bit harder to um, to point out exactly but when you solve problems perhaps one of the goals is to actually think about like what is suggesting the pigeonhole principle try to try to pinpoint what is suggesting it and so that the next time you could do better so if you are exposed to certain level of math Olympiad and then you can link the, uh, the triggers to the cues uh, and then you will hand, have like a, a mental map of what what to think about and when you see certain patterns in a problem right exactly if you take for example the equation x squared plus y squared equals 3 the square in this equation is a trigger to think about modular arithmetics mod 4 is a very good candidate to help this equation. Mod 8 is also a good idea. Whilst mod 16 might be worth trying for a square, but is not the go-to idea for such an equation. There are a few exceptions though, where, p where problems are designed to hack that map. When we do more problems, we, f we refine that map better and better until you get to solve a lot of problems. But sometimes there are problems that just explicitly goes to the least probable path, like the 10% over there. And I would suggest that this year's um, IMO P5 is one of those problems. And we can see that the Chinese um, IMO team, who are certainly very skilled in it, didn't solve it. It's most likely because they are tr their map is so refined that they didn't consider the less probable path. Whereas for beginner students in some way, like I talk to my friends, they don't have experience in math Olympiad, but they could solve it very quickly. It's because that their map wasn't very refined. And so it wasn't the path that the correct path wasn't a very low probability path. Whereas in the Chinese uh whereas in some of even my case as well, um I assigned that kind of path like with a too low probability and didn't consider it at all. You also did solve it this year. So was it like this idea of going through, maybe you tried the most probable path and then realized, let's try the other way. Is that um, The thing is, I will P5 uh, throughout my five year of history. It's the problem that I spend the longest time to solve. Three and a half hours um, of my time. And I didn't have any time for piecing. 
And unfortunately, I also fell into that trap where I went to the most probable path and go down, 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 down the deep rabbit hole, binary search, log to end, all of those stuff um, that I believe a lot of people has tried as well. It was in the last half an hour where I realized that if it's really this deep, I'm not going to get it. So I might as well try a path that allows me to write it up within 20 minutes. And I found the solution there with Ansage Tree. So it was a little bit of luck that's going on. So the toughest problem you faced during your five years at the IMO is P5. In terms of time, yes. Makes sense. Five years on P5. What an ending.